the Lulberts. That's our word. Brought to you by... Oh, wait, I can't read this because we're, uh, uh, this has been banned by Article 13, so... Um, uh, <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, creative, <laughs> this show is covered by Creative Commons Zero License, no rights reserved, but all mites reserved. And I'm here with Jeremy... Uh, I can't say that joke either because that's the two. That meme is also banned. <laughs> so... What's up? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, so this is actually take two, and you know me, like, <laughs> if, I, if I mess up the intro, that's like the only time I ever restart something, but I don't know what's been happening with my system, because we will do pre-game, just have a conversation, and we'll have no issues whatsoever. Uh, and I tried a new system, and I was like, okay, it seems to be working good. We were talking for a good, like, 15 minutes, and then as soon as I hit record, you cut out, and I was like, oh, God, and I know it's me. And I don't know why. And, I, and I'm trying yet another thing to see what the fuck this problem is. And I think I may have localized it. And But I'm getting a little bit of uh, feedback from your earphones, by the way. Oh, um, that's not good. Yeah. Hmm. But anyways, um, hopefully Maybe this will too fix high. it. Yeah, yeah, so hopefully this will fix it. But you were you were about to tell me this story about how you were... Uh, a robbed, uh, robbed at uh, at gunpoint, or a th- well, a technically, not- yeah, yeah, technically it was. <laughs> well, I think maybe their gun was in the holster, but it was like clearly implied that if you didn't yes. comply, yes, the gun yeah, was coming was... out of the holster, uh, which is awful yeah. and horrible. And I definitely feel bad for you um, because, as we know, there's a lot of lot of uh, terrible. Th- You're in New York still. New Yorkistan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah, terrible, I'm... awful people in New York uh, who commit lots of crimes because there's a lot of crime that happens over in that area. And one of the biggest perpetrators of that crime is, uh, what was it called? The NYPD? I think that's yeah. what the name of that gang is. So uh, <laughs> maybe not NYPD. I don't, I don't know what. Yeah, the, 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 no, no, the NYPD. It's the uh, oh, okay. East Coast Cri- East Coast Crips, the boys in blue. You know, okay, um, <laughs> those assholes. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have to deal with those th- those guys, um, luckily. But the Nassau County cops aren't much better because a lot of them are former NYPD because mm-hmm. they get they get paid a shitload of money to work here in one of the safest places in the fucking country, and you know they get paid exorbitant amounts of money. So most people work in the city for like five six years and then transfer over here where they don't have to do dick except harass people like me so yeah over the course of the last two weeks i was uh dragged out of my vehicle and had and myself and my vehicle torn apart and you know searched and everything uh when i when i wasn't bothering anybody i was sitting off in a corner in a parking lot somewhere not bothering anybody all by myself leaving everybody alone and somebody smelled something funny so they called the cops on me and uh yeah happened twice the second time was just uh yesterday and this time they took everything from me the first time they did the first time they just gave me a talking to tried to scare me kept insisting that i must have something else in the vehicle um you know and uh, ended up just leaving me alone this time no they uh they took all of they took my entire stash of cannabis which is unfortunate because i had just re-upped and uh mm-hmm. i don't have a lot of, I, I don't have a lot of money right now um and Hashtag, uh, please it, donate yeah, exactly. I was going to say that. Hashtag, please donate. <laughs> um, and and they, they took my bowl, man. I've had that bowl for years. I was like, really? You got to take the bowl, too. And on top of that, they slapped me with an appearance ticket. No. Oh, so I have to go to court. And I'm sure this is like a $200 fine or some bullshit. Um, you know, all revenue generation, even though the entire time during both interactions with two separate uh, uh, sets of uh, thugs in blue um, who by the way were undercover one of them was driving around in a blue SUV which I'm like alright SUVs they've used before the second time dude a motherfucking minivan pulled up on me a fucking minivan <laughs> pulled up on me and I'm like what the hell's going on people start rushing out of a minivan I'm, think- I'm thinking I'm about to get jumped and well I almost <laughs> did but it was like out the party van. I was like really guys <laughs> So, yeah, I, uh, I I've obviously I mean, I haven't been happy for a while here, but this is just like the icing on the cake because the entire time during both interactions, as I was saying, both sets of both sets of thugs kept saying, well, we don't really care about the marijuana. We're not here for that. We're looking for other stuff. And it's like, well, if you're not here for the marijuana, then why are you taking my fucking marijuana, dude? Like, give it back. Like, that's theft. Like, I, I even tried to explain this to them, you know. Unfortunately, during both instances, they grabbed me out of my vehicle before I could grab my phone, so I couldn't even record the instant, the instant, uh, you know, the uh, situations. Um, 
but I tried to, you know, I remained calm and tried to talk to him, you know, not try to be like a dick and not be one of like those rights people that are like, you know, I know my rights and blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, yeah, I just, yeah. just, just trying to ask him questions and like, listen, man, who am I hurting? Like, is there a victim here? Like, I'm sorry. I, I'm kind of confused. And uh, yeah, so it really sucked, man. I was like, you know, of all, like I, I've been waiting to get out of here. And every day I stay here, I feel more and more miserable as it is. And now this. Like, I can't even go anywhere just to be in peace and quiet and, and you know, and just be left alone. Like, they're, they're probably targeting you for, for that evil, awful thing that you said on Facebook where you called them all parasites. I, I see. I, I would have thought that. But <laughs> I've had I've I've passed by so many of them in the in, in between that the time that that happened and now that they don't even bat it. You know, they don't even look my they probably way. don't even remember anymore. Yeah, exactly. They're so this the was like the next outrage. Yeah, like this, this, this yesterday's event. The, the one, the, the one, the one thug said to me, he's like, "Yeah, we're not even, we weren't even here for you. We were here in the park for somebody else, and somebody came running up to us saying that somebody was doing something suspicious in the corner over there." <laughs> and I was like, "Really? I'm in a parking lot in a corner spot, like nobody around me. You know, I'm in a, I'm in a park, but it wasn't like there was any kids around me. Nothing. Like I was all by myself, just sitting in my car, just chilling." <laughs> That's why you need to get on that vape shake and be like, "Oh, it's just tobacco." Yeah, it's all I know. Tobacco. I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, I happen to get a really good deal. You know, plus I'm old school, man. I'm an old fogey, so you know, I, I like my, you know, I'm just, I like, I like my little, you know, stuff that you actually have to break up and uh, hold in your hand and then put it in on something to smoke out of. You know, that's I, just don't, I don't know about all this newfangled space weed. I just, I just want to smoke, smoke pot out of my pipe. My metal pipe. Yeah, man. Or an apple. That, you know, or a if you need. <laughs> or it, with the screen that I found in one of the sinks. <laughs> Oh man, my my family used to get so mad at me. I stole every screen from every house I was ever in <laughs> back in the day when I used to smoke with those little metal pipes. Oh yeah, we were constantly stealing because I was like, oh man, the screen are up. What are we gonna do? Quick, run to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, my parents were pretty upset. We didn't have any screen. They just were like, we're not gonna put, we're not gonna replace them. They're just gonna have to yeah. deal with it. And it's like, well, whatever. The, the water still comes out, and then you realize, like, oh no, there's. Those things actually do serve a, a real good function, don't they? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh no. Whoops. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie daisy. Uh, it, you know what? It just makes brushing your teeth an adventure after that. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you got arrested and you were saying like. Well, I, I wasn't. I wasn't arrested. Oh, they not let arrested, me go. Right. But they. Yeah. They just. They. They. they like I said, the first time they just kind of like harassed me and tried to scare me. You were, and then you were let briefly me go. detained. Yeah, yeah, and this time, oh, this time was even worse though, because I had to pee the entire time, and I was within like I could see the bathroom from where I was standing, and they wouldn't let me go. <laughs> they just they made me wait while they sat on their cell phones talking to whoever they were talking to. And just just and kept putting their finger up. Just one more minute. Just one more minute. I'm like, really, guys? Come on. I'm like, I need to pee. I'm like, obviously, I'm not going anywhere. I'm leaving my car here with you. Like, I'm just gonna walk over there and piss. Is that all right? No. <laughs> No, nope, they, they nope. got they got to have some they got to have some little pleasure to come out of it and like ah no nah, no nah, we're gonna fuck with this guy we're gonna make him well I, him I was again. I mean I was I I was tempted to just let go right there but then I would have been slapped with an addition exposure to charge on top of everything else so. <laughs> Another count of uh, menacing. Or, <laughs> yeah, you, well, yeah, me, yeah, menacing, indecent exposure, and of course, then, then I get thrown in the sex registry. Yep. You know, let's, like, that's all not, I need. Let's not do that. So there's no, certain so. things that you can say to the cop when you're being detained that are really good to say, like, am I being detained? Am I free to go? You know, this is theft, right? Taxation is theft. But I think there's one thing that we probably shouldn't ever have to say to a police officer, but she consented, though. <laughs> but what if the child consents? I think that was the that was the the proper answer to that joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what if the child consents? Uh, so we should talk uh, about. Uh, I don't think you are aware of this guy. Were you aware of this guy? This Sean Windigland. Windigland. He. Uh, I, I. I. Obviously. I. I mean. Apparently, he wasn't on my friends list. I don't really know the guy at all. I don't think I've. I may have seen the name around before, but I knew virtually nothing until all of a sudden this blew up last week. Yeah. And so I'm not even going to put his name in the description of, of this thing because um, a lot of, uh, like, especially YouTube has been coming down on people who have been talking about this. Um, so I'm, I'm not even going to mention him in the show description, nothing. I'll put him in the, the podcast description. So it'll be there on the RSS feed and everything. But uh, for the YouTube version, that's all getting scrubbed. Uh, the re uh, Because I even did a live stream about it and then um, my. Uh, Mr. Dapperton had made a video about it, kind of a joking video, like 
kind of making the fun of the fact that he's going to be the one that's raped in jail now. Um, and he got hit with the strike for something like uh, hurting kids or some or harassing kids or something like that. So wait, Dapp- Dapper get- Dapperton got hit with that? Yeah. For say, oh wow! Be- because the child was in the video, even though he s- he not only took a video that already had her face censored, he went like above and beyond that and like even censored even more. Didn't matter. Really? Didn't matter. Wow. Nailed him anyway. So I was like, all right, I better take that down. I uploaded my, uh, my copy of the live stream that I did about it and put it on BitChute. <laughs> and then I put, it th- I put a little announcement on my, uh, on my because uh, if you have more than 1,000 subscribers, you can put like a, what are they called, community things or whatever, where you can post something that's not a video. And people oh. will see it in their subscription feed and stuff. Oh, excuse me. And what I said was, um, yeah, I took down this video, but if you look really hard on bitch, U-T-E, uh, maybe you could find something about that. I'm just saying. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I actually was aware of who this guy was. I was actually subscribed to him back in 2010, 2011, somewhere in there. Uh, and I was subscribed for maybe like six months or so, and then I was like, uh, no, I can't deal with this anymore. Uh, he started out like on YouTube kind of talking about like uh, you know libertarian stuff and then the whole zeitgeist movement thing happened and he kind of focused in on that for a few videos and because that was kind of like my wheelhouse at the time because that's what I was known on YouTube for sort of known quote unquote um, but was like I was the libertarian who made videos about the zeitgeist movement and why it's it's no good and we had like kind of like a group of various people from you know bloggers and people who were interacting on forums or whatever who were talking about the zeitgeist movement and so we all used to chat but one of the person we didn't really uh chat to that often but he was sort of in our wheelhouse was a guy this guy this sean Win- winding like wow. he made a few videos about the zeitgeist movement and i i was like oh, okay and another libertarian who's talking about the zeitgeist movement i'm down and so, yeah. um, you know, I, I subscribed to him and like six months I started noticing like he, he makes like these weird like skit videos, but they don't make any sense, right? Like mm-hmm. he, he has there's a few, 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 few things wrong. That was one of them. Like he would do like this little skit and you're like, okay, I don't know what the point of that skit was. Was it satirizing something? Like there was no real context being provided. Like the title didn't really give you any more information. The description box was usually always empty. Uh, so there was no like... Because, you know, I do a lot of sat- satirical stuff, and uh, I always try to sure. put th- little clues in there, like, you know, like, um, you know, like, libertarians make this kind of argument over here, and I think that's ridiculous. And then I basically use that same argument to, you know, in a different thing to kind of point out the problems with it. Like my libertarians, was it the, uh, how to argue with libertarians or something like that? Or how to win yeah. political arguments with libertarians, uh, which was supposed to be about... Um, the against me argument. So there was always like little hints in there. And then I put things in the description that were hints. Uh, even if people didn't get it, like if people were like really passing it around going like, Oh my God, Jim's not a libertarian anymore. I, then I'd be like, all right, I need to put something in there that says, and I'll put that in there. Like this is a satirical video. This is about the against me argument. I'm still a libertarian, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, like I always make sure to at least provide some context. So, you know, maybe people in the, in the nosebleeds may not get it, but some someone would right this was not the case like and it was just like he had like this one where he was like saying like an uh an like a-n-s-i-r uh, s-i-r like um like and sir but like he was making it kind of sound like he was saying answer or something hmm. and then he was like he would say some other things and i'm like what and <laughs> sir like why don't you just and sir, and it was like he, he would like pause you know, the recording of the video, do a different pose, re- hit record again. So it was kind of like a very primitive jump cut. And you're just like, why even do the jump cut? <laughs> Whatever. And I was like, I have no idea what this whole thing was about. And there was lots of videos that were like that. Uh, the other type of video that he would do was he would he would talk about something that would be relevant to me like he would be talking about a debate between some libertarian and some other person Uh and he would be like 
he would just jump in and say like, you know, Joe talked about this and he didn't bring up this and, um, you know, like, and he could have brought up and he wouldn't explain what quote unquote this is. I'm just like, who is Joe? What are you talking about? Where is the discussion that you're that you're re- referencing? Why is this this other libertarian like have holes like in, in what he said? Like, what what what's the issue here? Like, what are you talking about? There's no context. And again, the description box would be empty, and I, I'd have no clue what the fuck he's talking about. Even though he's still talking about people in my wheelhouse, like he did a video about Adam Kokesh having a debate with some other guy, but I don't know what the debate was about. Like, what his issue with Kokesh was, nothing. I had no idea what the fuck he was even talking about. And there was videos being done like that. But that was a more recent thing. This was, I'm talking about, but he would still do that back in the day, too. And it was just like, mm-hmm. I can't, I can't deal with this anymore. And he would upload two to three videos a day. And it was just like, okay, I can't, I can't be bothered with this. And I unsubscribed to him. And, gotcha. you know, occasionally I would see. Oh, oh my dear gosh. Sorry, alarm. That was, loud, I, that was my wake up alarm. This is the time that I normally be waking up. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I was wake, just like, wake up, Jim. We're recording. Come oh. on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, Daddy, don't touch me there. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that joke was relevant. <laughs> so yeah, like he would make like all these weird videos, and I couldn't put my finger on like what was wrong with the guy, and I was just like, whatever, I'm I'm gonna write him off. And then he started making videos about like veganism and you know stuff. He was an anarcho capitalist. Um, he he wrote a book about anarcho capitalism. Um, I think it was just some self published book on Lulu or something like that. And I was like, uh, and occasionally I would I'd run into like one of his videos here and there, like it'd be recommended to me or something. And he never really had any more than like 300 subscribers, um, you know, and he was going back 2010. So, I mean, like he, you know, he didn't even get people who subscribed to him and then like deleted their accounts. Most people would subscribe to him and go like, I don't understand this and then leave. Um, he's had multiple accounts. Most of those accounts didn't even reach the 100 mark. His v- video views were somewhere in the realm of like 10, 20 at best. And I was just like, okay, uh, I, it's completely worthless, whatever. Um, but he uploaded a video to his YouTube account, and apparently he was uploading videos and and pictures of other things and other places that weren't, you know, maybe in the uh, more darker reaches of the internet. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to look those up. I don't want to see them. But he posted a video on YouTube where he was dis- had two videos on YouTube where he was discussing like sexual activity with his daughter. And, you know, they were having a discussion about like consent. And, you know, like he was also saying that he was feeling a little bit uncomfortable about having sexual activity with her because, you know, she's six years old and she- he- he's her dad. And it was just fucking disturbing to listen to, even though the, the clip was only like less than a minute or something like that. And it was just, it was, it was really disturbing. And, uh, well, infinity eight Chan, infinity Chan, whatever, uh, found the video and started like passing it around and started doing some, you know, some internet sleuthing and found out who he was, reported it to the FBI. He was arrested that day and now he's being charged with felony sexual assault on a minor. Um, and I guess the, the, the mother did, had no, no idea this was happening. Um, and she, and she had, she had like already they've already broken up or whatever and he was just doing that during visitation times uh and apparently those visitations were supposed to be monitored but he she wasn't monitoring him because she was just kind of like oh i I trust him or whatever uh and then oof and now yeah i don't i don't i don't i don't i mean like i I didn't follow it super closely because once i got the gist of what was going on i'm like i don't even really want to know about this story (laughs) but uh, the, one of the one of the thing I heard from multiple sources about it was actually it wasn't it wasn't necessarily that the 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 ex like w- was trusting him. Mm-hmm. Uh, supposedly, I think uh, his mom was supposed to be the one who was court ordered to be like you oh, know okay. was was okay to be super you know okay to be there to be supervised, and she went out to the store that one of these days and left him with the you know left him with the daughter. Uh, you know, which is a big no-no. I mean, you know, and from, you know, the quote-unquote legal standpoint, you know, the mom could actually be in trouble for that if that's true. Like yeah. I said, I heard that from multiple sources. I don't know if that's the case. I mean, obviously, I, I have my own issues with all, with custody cases. Though. But yeah, but the whole thing was really messed up, dude. Yeah. And and then I heard things like he was set, he was claiming he was being set up somehow or he was being framed. It's like, dude, that, that that's you oh, on the video, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah, I'm confused here. And when he was arrested, he he uh, he was trying to explain to the officers, according to the news report, he was trying to explain to the officers that, oh, no, it was consensual, though. <laughs> what did the child consents? The old libertarian canard. 
Yeah. <laughs> every time these things get, it, it seems like every year, every year, it, it it's like you can almost mark your calendars. There's always something that happens, and then the, all the libertarians and voluntarists come out of the woodwork and start going. Not all of them. Let me make this clear. A very vocal minority of libertarians will come out of the woodwork and say, but what if the child consents, though? And I, I run into this all the time, and, and every and I have the same answer I give every single time this this comes up. What if the child consents, though? It's like, well, then maybe the, the, the parent should die an even slower and more painful death. <laughs> <laughs> Or whatever you know, that person should. Yeah, that's my answer because I just have no time for that stuff. It's fucking gross and disgusting. Kids can't consent, etc. But um, yeah, like uh, I guess he's gonna be. He's probably gonna be in jail for quite some time. And if it's his, it's six year old and and his own daughter, he's not gonna last that long in jail. Uh, they they don't take too kindly to those types of people in jail, from what I'm told. Maybe you can verify. No. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had to spend that much time, thankfully, okay. in jail. But no, I've heard I've heard the same stories you have. So yeah, okay. I'm uh, pretty sure that's the case. But Cop, yeah, they, they don't like cops and they don't like child molesters in jail. That's they don't they don't last very long. Yeah, yeah. this is true. So uh, good. I, I'm glad he's in jail. Fuck him. Uh, and by the way, if if anybody leaves that comment, like. And not joking around. If so, I know I can tell if someone's joking around. If someone really wants to have a conversation about, you know, child consent, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore you. Probably mute you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what? I don't even deal but, with that anymore. But back in the day, I mean, when it, when it wasn't about a specific situation like this, like I've been in those you know conversations, debates, whatever before, and I used to like you know try to parse some of this stuff out and think about it and then i was just like no dude just just let's move on to some more important shit let's yeah. like not have this conversation ev like you said every fucking year um <laughs> th this one is obvious this time around is obviously just more egregious because you know not only is it just a whole bunch of idiots arguing online there's actually yeah um there you know in juxt juxtaposed with the situation we were talking about with me earlier where there was no victim in my situation there's definitely a fucking victim here you know yeah the, the, the one thing that actually like i said i once i found out like i got the gist of the story and i I, I was only able to watch like 10 seconds of the video and I just turned it off. I'm like, I can't even, I'm like, yeah. I've, I've heard from enough people who I trust, like, you know, wholeheartedly that they told me they actually sat through it. It was painful. And they explained to me what happened. And I'm like, that's good enough for me. Your explanation of it is all I need. Yeah, I don't actually have to bad. watch the goddamn thing. Um, it's gotta be even more difficult when you got kids roughly the same age. Well, yeah. And yeah. then uh, obviously, but then also like the, the, the thing that actually, I mean, aside from that, the one thing that just uh, between the, you know, aside from the, 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 you know, what of the child consent crew, um, the other thing that kind of just like, I, I don't know, bothered me, I guess, about the whole situation was, uh, you know, obviously the stupid sniping back and forth a whole bunch of people started fighting all over the place online um it obviously spiraled beyond with this particular situation um but then later on a whole bunch of people had to walk back and go oh crap well we're glad he caught but now we got to go scrub all the videos like they had to run around because everybody was sharing this stuff which i understand like people wanted to like mm -hmm. you know the whole ostracization thing people wanted to you know get the community rallied around let's find this guy let's you know but everybody was sharing the fucking video with the kids face in it and it's like yeah. Why would you do that? Like I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Even if I wanted to be f more fully invested in this particular situation, I would have, I could have never shared the video around like everybody else was. Yeah, I, you know, I, it's just like, oh man, like it's just, it. That's why I didn't want to get involved because I'm like, there's just so much shit here, and I feel horrible for the children. Um, and if the if the mother uh, was completely clueless, then I, you know, I feel bad that you know, you know, she because now the kids and her are going to be through therapy for the rest of their lives, you know. Yeah. Um. But, uh, yeah, just really messed up situation. But, yeah, like you said, it's a good thing he, uh, you know, I heard he was on the run for a little while and they caught up with him. Good. No, okay. I, don't think, I don't think he actually was on the run. I think they caught him at his house and he just. Oh, OK. He, yeah, he, he complied and was like, but what if the child consents, though? Um <laughs> <laughs> well, see, you you just don't understand this this genius level of thinking. The, actually, the, the one the one oh. thing I did see the one thing I did see a couple of times was there's this one guy on Facebook um, with one of those like crazy Russian names or whatever I don't even remember what it was who was running around to a bunch of different threads defending this guy. No, and claiming he he's he didn't touch anybody. You don't understand. Sean's just a master logician, and he's super technical. And most of the stuff he talks about just goes over your you idiots' heads. But I I saw this person, and I mean it might have been Sean <laughs> with a sock account, but just going from post to post to post, arguing with people. And I'm like, really? You have this, to have a really a, high the, IQ to understand this, Sean Wing Ding. This, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking <Rick> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh yeah uh yeah like i said just i mean aside from the, the horribleness in general there's a lot of bizarre shit surrounding mm-hmm. this so that's why i just steered clear it's a it's a hot mess <laughs> it's a hot mess yeah so yeah, uh, that's pretty much been my stance on it, and I really try to avoid talking about the minor thing, because and and to be fair, and most of the time when like the libertarians come out of the woodwork or, and and volunteers come out of the woodwork to talk about this thing, they're not really talking about like children of the eight. Like, it's teen, yeah, yeah, it's they're talking teenagers, of, like fifteen, sixteen, somewhere it, seventeen. That, it's that not range. pedophilia; it's a bebophilia. It's like okay, that's that's bad enough. True, it's bad it's enough. Well, <laughs> but there's a different I will say that there is a difference between having the discussion between, you know, like what if the child consents though when you're talking about like a 16-year-old versus taking 10 years off that kid's life <laughs> and making it 6 and then even on top of that going like oh yeah your own daughter too. There's, yeah, so that's where I'm just like there's no defending this. There's really no real way of defending this um at all. No, there isn't. And, you know, unfortunately, some people took the opportunity to try, like, not defend him, but we're trying to, ha- like, have these conversations that you're discussing. And then I, just, I I witnessed some of them, and then I just, I turned Facebook off for a couple of days. I'm like, I don't even want to look at this anymore. Because, like, in some respects, like, you know, I, it's just, when things like this happen, unfortunately, especially in our circles, they're always going to be insane like this, because, you know, the Aspie of the Aspiest come out of the woodwork, and they just make it even worse, because they're just following the logic and going, but, well, you know, and, you know, in some instances, they may actually be, I guess, quote, unquote, right, but, you know, why have the argument? Just no. let it go, man. Like, this is the, it's this, not, this not, not the hill you want to fucking, yeah, I was just going to say, it's not the hill you want to fucking die on, moron. <laughs> Right, right, exactly. So I, I usually try to avoid the topic, but I'll I'll, I'll state my position. Um, like I really have no. Pr- like, so I mean, for me, I'm not even gonna mess around with a girl that's under 21. And in fact, the more the older I get, the more I'm kind of like, you know what, 21 year old girls annoy the shit out of me now. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah like, like I'm on to like 23 now. 23 year over, I'm, that's it. <laughs> Anything younger than that, I'm not interested in. Um, but I mean, like, I think it really kind of depends on like the age of the person. So if someone's like, you know, 20 and they're dating a 16 year old, that's one thing versus, you know, a 35 year old man dating a 14 year old girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, another I was, thing. I was, I was 19 dating a 16 year old, I think for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah. Uh, and then we, we actually ended up together for five years after that. So it's like, you know, it wasn't like. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, I dated a, an eighteen-year-old girl, and I, I carded her. I was like, "Let me see your ID." <laughs> I, carded, <laughs> I carded her because she was like, "Oh, I'm in high school still." I was like, "Do you have an ID?" Uh, like, yes, I do. Yeah. She, she was like almost ready for it. <laughs> so I was like, "Cool." Um, I actually went to her high school graduation, but I was like twenty-five at the time, and you know, people were like, "Oh, you're robbing the grave." It's like, dude, it's it's really a five-year difference. It really doesn't matter. Um, and no. and she's an adult. But I mean, yes. yeah, I mean, like, the, it ha- I, honestly, like, I would not want to live in any community that didn't have rules saying you're not allowed to have child pornography. You're not allowed to engage in s- sexual behavior with women under the age of this. If you're over the age of that, you know, and then we'll allow for some Romeo and Juliet laws, you know, so, you know, if, you know, like a 16 year old is dating another 16 year old and one of those turns 18, you know, a couple years down the line, they don't go to jail, things like that, like fine like that's pretty much where i'm at um do i think there should be a universal law across the you know the the world that says like no you're 18 or over and that's it you know anyone else and if if you violate that law you get hanged like uh, that's a little bit too much but for the most part i I think that's a that's a pretty safe bet and you know you can kind of judge on it like if you think that 16 is the age of consent go and live in a community where that is i'm going to be living in an area where it's 21 and over (laughs) (laughs) honestly i just don't care and the further i get away from pedos the better (laughs) so uh, that's pretty much it um (laughs) <laughs> and that's all the, that's all the discussion I'm going to have. I'm not going to allow anyone to come in and try to have a conversation with me. I'll be like, that's fine that you think that. Bye. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's my personal opinion. Um, but anyways, moving on to uh, less third rail type libertarian things. Let's talk about our good friend, Jesse. We talked about this, didn't we? Was it you? Yeah, we that? actually, okay. yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. That's kind why of, it was funny when you brought it up before. I was like, wait a minute. Am I, am, am, am I, am I uh, having a deja vu moment? What's going on here? So let's, let's kind of have a little follow-up story. So uh, basically what happened was uh, he came onto the news, announced that he was attacked by a couple of MAGA hat wearing, ski mask wearing, 
wearing those same time, whatever. Uh, Trump's white Trump supporters, okay, who uh, attacked him and said, This is MAGA country, doused him with uh, chemicals and put a ro- rope around his neck. And he walked home with that rope and chemicals all over him. And then when the police showed up, he still had that rope and thing all over him. And he was like, Oh, I was attacked by these people. There was also a polar vortex going on. It was like negative 20 degrees out. Everybody was like, Wait a minute, but doesn't. How do they keep the, uh, the the bleach from freezing? Were they hugging it the whole time they were walking around with bleach? Why were they walking around with bleach? How did they know that he was going to be out this time of late? Why would you walk to fucking Subway when you could just order it online and yeah. have it delivered to you? Because you know you're you're rich or you're rich enough. Um, you make good money working on a, a on a very popular TV show. Questions started surfacing, and then all of a sudden it turns out, oh no, he paid some uh, some uh, some extras and his uh, tr- his trainer to. Um, to attack him and then paint this thing because he wanted more money on set because he was trying to paint the narrative that he's you know getting attacked for being gay. No one believed him. He sent a couple of fake letters to himself with ricin, quote unquote, fake ricin, and you know like I don't know. Do you ever see those movies where there's like a ransom or like some sort of note saying like we have your child and we kidnapped yeah. him and they cut him out of magazines like fake ass shit. No one does. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he sent some of those things to himself like you're gonna hang or whatever, um, and then. And paid these guys to also attack him later on too. Uh, he was arrested, and there, the, you know, the evidence was pretty clear that you know this was this was the case, like that he did this. The the um, the, the police department, and the mayor was like, "Yep, he de- seems like he definitely did this." The prosecutors like, "Yep, he definitely did this." Well, the other day uh, they just dropped all charges. Wow! Just dropped the charges, and it turns out the DA. Of, of, of the uh, of the county which uh, Chicago resides, what is it? It's not Clark County. That's that's it's something like Clark County. Clark County is where Cook? Vegas is. Was it Cook County? No. Cook. But maybe, I think it was Cook County. Uh, she's she was a former Obama staffer or intern. And, oh, uh, I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Yeah, uh, and, you know, and uh, it's also a coincidence that Jesse was like a good f- uh, friend of the Obamas. That, that was just not another coincidence. Um, not linking anything. He clearly was innocent. Uh, but the FBI is still going to go after him for sending uh, fake fake stuff. Looks like they're going to still go for it. And that's probably where he's going to get it. That's where he's going to get in most trouble because s- sending, you know, even fake death threats to yourself is still a federal crime. And sending fake ricin is definitely a crime. Uh, federal, fel- federal felony. Probably. <laughs> yeah. So he, he's, he's not completely off the hook yet, but it's just a little bit odd. And I think there's some investigations going on to find out what's going on behind the scenes over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, see, this actually, I was, as I'm thinking about this, this actually brings up an interesting point for me. Now, I like, you know, when we talked about this the last time, like, I, you know, I don't watch the show. I don't know. I didn't know who this guy was until this story broke. And like I, like I told you before we recorded that last show, I just happened to catch that story right before we talked. So it was just like perfect timing that you wanted to talk about. It. I was like, hey, I actually know some stuff about this. I just happened to see it and read some stuff. I, you know, followed a rabbit trail for a little while. But, you know, and. Uh, you know, it's it's funny to laugh about the fact that kind of that, you know, the, the, listen, idiot, idiot, you do this t- type of stuff. What do you expect? But, you know, when I when now, you know, based on the last conversation we were having and then talking about what happened to me earlier, should he really be punished? I mean, is there a victim here? Uh, you know, if, we, if we're going to put our serious libertarian hat on for a second, like, I don't know, yeah. like, well, um, yeah, is, is, there a vic- is there a victim in what he did? I guess he was attempting to defraud. His, uh, okay. his, his show, his, the show. Oh yeah, show the, yeah. Like, I forget. I keep forgetting about that. The whole, yeah. the whole show. Yeah, the whole show aspect. One, yeah, one that, can make that. that case, but again, like all of this stuff would have to be adjudicated. You can't just say. But I mean, like that's something that could be that could be brought up as a thing. But that that'd be a hard thing to, to sell. Um, the other, but I think the the most egregious thing is is that he was trying to do that for for that reason as well. But he was also trying to paint this narrative that you know that gay people every time they walk down the street they get gay bashed and you know. And it's, I mean, it does happen. I'm not going to say it doesn't happen. That's obviously false if I were to say that. But the idea oh, yeah. that, that people do this and they fucking wear MAGA hats and they say this is MAGA country while doing it, like, no, I press the next to doubt. You're just trying to paint your political opponents as being negative. I mean, so well, yeah. you could make well, the case, it wouldn't be a legal case, but you can make the case that, you know, there was a harm in turn, tr- trying to paint trump supporters as being something that they're not i mean there are trump supporters that are definitely like that i'm not going to say that there aren't right i mean yeah 
There's, well, no, there's, 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 racist, cases. there's racist lefties, too. I mean, like, it's whatever. Oh, well, it's, yeah, and actually, they're some of the worst, because at least most of the ones in the... Most most of the right racists are at least pretty honest about it. The left, the, the leftists all pretend that they're not, but they actually really are really yeah. fucking racist. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, like I said, I could, I could see the defrauding the, the defrauding angle, because I, I always I keep forgetting about the, the thing with the show. It's just like the, the actual, um, you know, doing this and then just trying to get the attention. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, it, for, I don't know. Like I said, I was just thinking about it a little bit. It seems kind of weird because it's like, ah, eh, you know, I mean, he did a bunch of stuff to himself. I mean, yes, he did try to defraud his company. So he should just lose his job, definitely. You know, that that would be my thing. All right, dude, you, you're out of here. Yeah, they wrote um, him off. But, the, uh, and, then, and, and then laughed at. Uh, yeah. But other than that, it's like, what should really happen to him? Like the, the, the federal charges being thrown on him? Like, eh, I don't know. I, I don't necessarily feel bad for the guy because, I mean, I'm – it, to me, it just seems like more like, you know, you're talking about like these things happen. Yeah, because anytime these stories come out when they're the really crazy well, ones like this, they always end up having to get walked back because they're they always end up being lies. OK, well, let, let's put this in the libertarian sphere, right? You're you're, oh. you're working for Spooner's mail service, right? OK. Um, <laughs> and, you're, and you're packaging mail and stuff like that. And then you come across a letter that's dusty and it's got like this white powder coming out of it. And you're like, oh, shit, this is, you know, this is ricin. Uh, we're going to call the hazmat team out to get checked everything, blah, blah, blah. If that were to be the case, I think the, the, the Postal Service knew right away that it was bullshit. And they were like, yeah, this is not really rice and move along. Um, but let's just say that, uh, you know, that they, they were to do that because that's actually the right protocols to just to always be safe than sorry. Um, you could basically say, well because you did this and you were trying to pass this off as a ricin letter uh, we had to pay for all the services in order to get this cleaned up and checked out you're responsible for that and all the damages that were resulted from that um all the the lost time that we spent having to fucking sort this thing out instead of delivering the mail you have to pay for that you could say that that, w- that would be a oh. legitimate case to oh, that, that's that's a good point too yeah you hmm. could do that too so. All right. So yes, if it, if it was, so yes, if it was a private company that was handling that, absolutely, there's yeah. a victim. When it's the post office, though, fuck them. Fuck them. Those guys yeah. are all. Those guys, those guys are all assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm never gonna forgive them for all the things that they did to me about getting my fucking book from Ben Stone. Fuckers. Oh my god, I gotta remember that. Dude, before you even finished that sentence, I knew what you were gonna say. I remember that whole fucking ordeal. That was so, how many copies did he have to send you before it finally got there? Uh, it was like four. It was, no, two. But he oh. sent like one like four times. <laughs> then he ended up was like, "I'll just send it USPS." Uh, no, he sent me one, and then Michael Dean sent me his copy because he was like, "I'm done reading it. I completely disavow this book. <laughs> I completely disavow this book." Uh, oh, that's wink, right. wink. Yeah, wink. <laughs> I think he had uh. something in his eye when he said that. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, he was like, "I completely disavow this book. You can have my copy. I read it. It's good anyway." I mean, it's, <laughs> it's good for what it is that I completely disavow. Obviously, of course, yeah. of course. Okay, uh, uh, damn fucking eye, something stuck in it. Um, I completely disavow the book. <sighs> Fuck, I got the same oh, yeah. thing stuck in my eye. I can't. Stop I, di- I I disavowed it so hard that I read the audio book for it. Um. <laughs> well, yeah, pe- people. It's it's kind of like those Jewish organizations that like release copies of Mein Kampf just to let you know, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, that's what that's what it was. For in in evil things. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. it. Yeah, that's that's the that's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to do a public service, man. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> well, it's going to get banned anyway, at least from the UK. And uh, oh yeah, because the, the Brex- let's just face it, Brexit's never happening. They're never going to do that. They're never going to do it. Oh, wait, but people I, people still think that's a thing. The Brexit that thing? feels like yeah, that feels like it was so long ago too. It was only a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, and they they keep doing things like oh we're going to have a revote on it or oh we're going to have and everybody's like upset at uh, recanting their votes and all this other stuff and it's like well you, you, you voted for it you wanted democracy you got it <laughs> why are you complaining yeah. now and now i think all these people are going to be swayed a little bit more now that article 13 and article 11 got passed uh, you said you didn't know anything about this Do you, what well do you i didn't I, d- I didn't know it by i didn't know it by name but i i had heard the rumblings of a lot of like the bits and pieces i guess of the overall law or whatever it is now um i had heard the rumblings of this over the past couple of years that they were trying to do this type of stuff like the, the whole meme thing obviously got got to me as a you know well i've, I've been kind of dormant for a while but as a memer a, a former yeah. a former meme lord uh, yeah. oh, i'm a i'm a memer on a hiatus right now yeah um they uh <laughs> On sabbatical, they uh, that that got that you know that that got down the pipe to me a while back. I heard I heard they were talking about this, so I know I know a little bit about it. I didn't know they actually put it into effect though. That's just insane, man. Yep. 
It's insane. So, so okay. So, so, so article. So is, 11, anyth- is any is anything elite is anything legal in the EU anymore? No. <laughs> gotta, well, yes, but you got to have a license for it, mate. Oh, well, yeah. of course. <laughs> oh, that's a nice meme you got there. I hope you got a license for that. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Uh, I think that should be our next thing. We should start producing meme licenses. Yeah, <laughs> and, then just hand, and then I hand them out. We'll offer. Look, we can put them up online. We'll you know put them up on the site. We'll offer oh, them a deal for sale. It'll be like it'll be like it'll be it'll be like it'll be like uh, Berwick's passport thing, except actually it, actually more uh, more legitimate because we'd actually hand people the uh, <laughs> the I, meme I, licenses. I got an idea. I'll take one of my bip. I'll take one of my bip strongs, and I'll edit. Yeah. I'll take, you know, I'll scan it. Cut it, cut it in half, and scan it, and then make it say instead of saying like this, this person is covered by a Bipcot, no government license. I'll make it say that this meme is covered by a Bipcot. That's perfect. <laughs> That's license. perfect. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and then this anytime you have... want to make a meme, you just put that little strip across, you know, diagonally across your meme, and there you go. <laughs> this needs to happen. <laughs> We're doing. Oh, well, now that I've said that. Travis is already <laughs> making that <laughs> on his phone as we speak. Um, <laughs> Bipcot, <laughs> no government meme license. It's happening. Oh, man. And you could buy one yeah. for only nineteen ninety five. dollars should Exactly. <laughs> By the way, if uh, uh, if you can figure out a way to give me a self-addressed stamped envelope that'll, that'll allow, because it's got to be a quote-unquote package for me to send it. If you can figure out a way of doing it, I'll, I'll send you Bipstrong's. I still got a whole bunch of them left, and uh, I, and something actually, else we'll talk about later. Something else we'll talk about I, later. I, I actually I actually found one of mine today as I was going through one of my bins looking for my recording equipment. I'm like, oh, that's where my Bipstrong went. <laughs> was it the broken one? Yeah, it was still t- it's still tied. It, it's still tied around my other microphone. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, so basically the, the kind of tech text of these things basically say that there's going to be like more stringent copyright issues going on. Um, so if you make a meme and that meme is based on some sort of something copyrighted, so let's say the, the old, um, was that the, the office meme, you know, what's that guy from the office? The, the dorky guy that's always like, is this oh, Dwight? Yeah, Dwight. It was like, you know, he'll, it'll say something and it'll say false. And then it's a correction. Like if you do that, well, yeah. The office is uh, copyrighted by NBC, uh, and you got to have a license for that, mate. You have to pay a fee, and that's going to be oh. the rule. And all these companies have to have infrastructure set up so that if you upload something that you don't, you know, that the, you know, that upload something that you don't have a hundred percent rights over, uh, then it'll basically filter it out unless you can prove that you paid some sort of licensing fee for for that. Uh, if you Post an article. Let's say that you that you're an art like, that you're just starting to write up, start up some, you know, some some small blog or uh, alternative media kind of outlet, and you write this this blog and you say like, oh, I'm going to quote from the Washington Post. Well, if you're going to quote the Washington Post, you also need to pay a fee. Or if you if you say like, hey, I read this article, and in this article, and I'm just like I'm telling you now, this article says X, Y, and Z in my own words and here's the link to that article well you have to pay and pay for um for that for that hyperlink or if you're citing a source they're saying like you know and then jesse somalia said this you know the little one thing and then you put thing on the bottom saying like one equals this this uh, url yeah kind of like wikipedia does well you have to pay a fee in order to have that url linked to that other thing um and what YouTube is looks like they're going to be doing is if you're not a YouTuber that has over like maybe like I don't know they they haven't set out like rules or something, uh, you know that has like less than uh, you know a hundred thousand subscribers let's say, I don't know the number exactly again, but uh, you're you're probably not going to be able to upload content to YouTube. They're just probably going to outright just say forget it. We're not even going to waste time with that. If you're not some part of some media organization, a well-established media organization that's paying their license, mate, um, you're going to be you're probably not going to have an account to be able to upload things. And those people who do upload things has, are probably going to go through the ringer every single time they upload a video to make sure that anytime they cite something or quote something or show something, that all of that stuff is being checked for copyrighted. And if there is copyrighted material or you know in it or being linked to it then they have to pay a fee uh memes are dead uh also if you're going to be watching por- pornographic images guess what you got to have a license for that too mate they just can't go looking on the internet for porn and stuff 
That's not going to happen. Yeah, man. Come Sorry. on, listen. You, you, you can get whiplash that way, man. You got to have a license. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to ban all that stuff. It's just done. And uh, and it's uh, here's the funny part about it. It probably would not have passed if it wasn't for Sweden. Because Sweden came into the vote, and they didn't know what button to press to vote against it. So they pressed the one that voted for it. Damn, Swedes. What the hell is wrong with you people? They can't retract their vote according to the rules of the union. The only thing that they can say is, oh, I, we pressed the wrong button. We just want to show for the record that we did not mean to press that. But it doesn't matter. Wow. The vote is still cast. That's insane. Yep. <laughs> uh, 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 wow. <laughs> I, like, I don't even know. Again. First it was I, Ikea, I... then it was that racist, awful PewDiePie. <laughs> And now this. <laughs> By the way, subscribe to Pretty Pie. Screw optics. I'm going in. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> oh man! Other than the Swedish chef, that's been all uh, the Swedish chef. It's all been downhill. Um, what should we go? <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this, man. Like, where? Where they? How do they enforce all of this? Like, I, that's what I don't. I, I don't see. Like, I don't get. Yeah, they're are they just, just gonna, gonna have to gonna... shut down the? Oh, uh, they just have to shut down the internet in the EU at some point. Like, is that the only oh, way? Like, how do they? Like, you know, I mean, obviously, like you said, YouTube and certain organizations can do. Like, they could just refuse to let people post stuff at all. But you know that these all these uh, what you call it? All these media's uh, mediums are just gonna die then. Yeah, you know, at least in those areas. So like, they're just gonna have to kill the internet because, I mean, there's obviously gonna there's obviously gonna be people, people like us over there who are like, fuck this shit, dude. I'm making memes all the time. Yep. Um, but probably uh, gonna, most probably the EU are probably going to go onto the tour network and be like, I guess, I guess this is where we go now. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to hang out on tour and retro share. That's all we got now. Oof! Almost, <laughs> almost, almost tempted to finally fly across the pond just to uh, watch some porn and see what happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it! Come at me, bro! Um, I, I got memes that I ain't afraid to use them, bitch. <laughs> what if the porn consents, though, officer? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, you, you know, just bring your hunting knife if that's not banned. You could just bring yeah, your hunting you knife. There you go. <laughs> just go to the country where they haven't banned knives yet. There you go. Uh, so, uh, um, but, but you know, like we can laugh at the at the at the uh, EU now and be like, ha ha ha! Look at all you people, ha ha ha, cucks, whatever. You can do that now, but you know that this is just a blueprint for everything that the that you know that happens in the UK and the European Union. That's a blueprint for what America wants to do next. So, oh yeah, well, I mean, they've been they've been floating the idea for years of trying to figure out some so, way to uh, tax t to tax emails. Yeah, yeah. So like this is like I, you you know there's a whole bunch of fucking politicians right now going holy shit did you see what they pulled off over here dust off those fucking bills man we're going back in <laughs> because <laughs> they're gonna have to try you, you saying, know just they're gonna have to try to outdo them <laughs> you're saying that they're saying screw optics we're going in <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> and the internet's like hey brother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, they're yeah. they're, they're already working out ways to get people taxed on Bitcoin when they transfer it back and over from from USD. Really, I haven't been paying attention. Well, yeah, to stuff, yeah, yeah. So. If you if you cash money out of Coinbase, Coinbase reports all that stuff to the FBI. In order for you to have a oh, Coinbase yeah. account, you got to show them your driver's license. <laughs> you got to show oh, yeah, them your driver's license I, I, and your social security number and. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't deal with the exchanges, so I don't, I don't have to worry and, about uh, that. I think I actually, I think I actually do have a Coinbase account that I set up way back when, mm -hmm. but I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever used it. So there's that, and then you also have uh, what is it, local Bitcoins is doing the same thing now in order for you to be involved oh, in that. that really? I didn't know that. Yep. It's, oh, that sucks. That was the whole point of local Bitcoin. It was to avoid the KYS bullshit. Yeah, but when the feds come knocking on the door. Or you know, KYC, rather. <laughs> feds come knocking to the door like, well, you know, what if the Bitcoin consents? Does it really work? <laughs> That's going to be the running game. <laughs> what if the Bitcoin consents? <laughs> ah. But yeah, it, it sucks because, I mean, basically, SOPA was kind of doing some, trying to do something similar to this. Um, and they try to get bring that back. I don't know how many times. How many times did the internet? Oh, so, for SOPA. 
Yeah, SOPA, I remember at least three times over the past five or six years, maybe more. Yeah. But that's I remember at least three instances where it came back up. Yeah. And then in my notes, we have something about Mueller. I don't know if I want to talk about this too much because it's, it's – we might as well touch on this. It's a whole lot of nothing. So it, Yeah, it's a whole lot of – I mean, <laughs> like, I, mean it, I, I do think it's funny that – the, the the you know mainstream media outlets are taken to Alex Jones for for cues on journalism. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think once this actually does come out, I think they're going to be like, look, we already said that I was wrong about you know about Mueller. I just want to talk about interdimensional pedophiles. That's what I want to talk about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they keep bringing this up. Um, yeah, so the Mueller thing, that was the whole thing that all these blue check I mean, marks you, on did, Twitter. Did, did you watch that second or listen to that second Rogan Alex it's Jones? Beautiful. It's oh, the, the beautiful. Oh, the beautiful thing the, ever. The first one was amazing. The second one was, oh my God. I was like, I, the entire was like a five hour show or something. Yeah. I, even at one and a half speed, it was over three hours on my pod when I listened. <laughs> but I sat there the entire time, like in trance. I was like, oh my God, this is one of the greatest things I've ever heard. <laughs> If, if I was Joe Rogan, I would have just had like a one of those condom catheter things. <laughs> like I could stay here all day. <laughs> yeah. I already had my poop. I could stay here all day now. <laughs> uh, just wind them up and let the motherfucker yep. go. Let him go. Uh. So yeah, that was beautiful. Um, but yeah, I think it's funny because you know there was like all these conspiracy theories about it, and it turned out to be all crap. And Glenn Greenwald was like. I don't know if you saw that that thing on Democracy Now. I'll I'll put a link in the description of this podcast if I remember. Uh, in fact, I'll remember Democracy Now. Now, so I don't forget. But uh, Glenn Greenwald debated some some of the some guy that was like promoting these uh, conspiracy theories about Mueller, the Mueller investigation. I was going to prove that Trump was colluding with you know the Russians and. <laughs> then, it, of course, it, uh, the Mueller investigation said, nope, they didn't do anything. I mean, there was some things that they did that were probably, like, unethical, but nothing criminal and nothing that would constitute, like, collusion f f from the, uh, the Russian government to, you know, to do uh, to, to, to swing the election. Sorry. It's just not there. It's not true. And... Uh, and he went on there and he was like, he was like, th like this whole thing was just an giant embarrassment to journalism. Uh, like this is, this is, these were all just conspiracy pandering and stuff. And he's like, and the thing is, the really thing that pisses me off the most about it is, is like, there's some legitimate things that Trump was doing <clears throat> in his administration. That's absolutely awful and terrible. And, and what did we, did we talk about any of that stuff? No, we just went on these nope. bizarre, insane conspiracy theories that he was colluding with the Russians. And it turns out that it's not entirely that it was completely bullshit, and uh, journalists are still trying to double down. Like, oh no, no, maybe, maybe once it comes out, there might be something in there that we can find that pins him to Russia. And it's like, no, it's not there. <laughs> the, the, the the guy who led the investigation said, "There's not, there's nothing here, but yeah. we're gonna find it anyway." <laughs> yeah, we're gonna find out. There's gonna be like some some, and when it does come out, there's gonna be some line that kind of mentions something, and they're probably gonna take it and spin it to be like, oh, this is proof that, you know, Mueller was in on it. But everybody was like, oh, Mueller's this wonderful, great patriot American, and he's going to take down Trump. Nope. 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 Uh, nope. It was just a bunch of nonsense. Uh, of course it was. Yeah. So, I mean, was I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of alternative media. I'm not. There's some, there's definitely some good sources, alternative media that are great, that I really enjoy, that do a good job. They're not, that doesn't necessarily mean they're all great, but mainstream media is just becoming a, a joke now. Now it's just all 24 seven. Well, orange man, bad or orange man. Good. It's one of those. Two. <laughs> That's hard to get anything good out of the media anymore from either side. Fox nah. or MSNBC. Yeah, I... In fact, it's kind of sad that MSNBC <laughs> has, you know, used to be like the worst offender. Like it used to be like Fox News on steroids for the other side. Uh, but there seemed to be much more moderate compared to CNN, which was CNN was supposed to be like, yeah, they're lefty. You know, they lean left. But, you know, there's you can get some nuggets of truth out of it. Now it's not not even. No. Oh, God. They've turned into MSNBC on steroids. <laughs> it's, it's got, like Rachel Maddow and shit. But for the most part, like their straight journalism stuff is a whole lot better than what it used to be. I'm not saying that it's good. They're all it's all bad. It's, <laughs> this is saying uh, this whole thing is just a mess. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to, I guess just mention it cause whatever. So you, you were telling me that 
you didn't play Pogs in the 90s? No, I thought man. you were a 90s kid. You see, it's funny. I was actually talking about this with somebody the other day. I mean, I was kind of, I was kind of in the middle because, you know, I, I grew up in the 80s and I was, mm-hmm. a, you know, teenager and starting my 20s and in, in the 90s. So I I just missed the Pog craze. Um, a couple my, like I said, my younger cousins and stuff were into it, but... Uh, I think it, it was just, uh, I don't even remember when they first, what was it, early 90s when they first did it, or was it mid-90s? Yeah, I think it started to get uh, about 91, and then completely died in 94. It was just dead. Yeah, but, see, I was still young enough, I guess, because 94, I was, 91, I was only 14, but I don't know why, I just missed, I guess I just missed it, or, yeah. uh, you know what, actually, you know, that's what, that, that would explain it, because I, I didn't come to New York until 94, and where I was in Pennsylvania, it was kind of like any other, you know, Midwest bum fuck town you joke about and say things get there like five years later yeah that's kind of where I live so like we did we, we it wouldn't have got there for another couple of years so I wasn't really aware of it until I got to New York and I was already almost 17 at that point I was like ah, I don't care about this shit yeah but I, I played the shit out of pogs I had so many pogs I lost a lot of pogs but I even played in the world pog federation championship tournament thing that they had wow. at Knott's Berry Farm I lost the second game but I I but, but at least I did it, <laughs> and I got I got my my mystery lodge slammers for, from Knott's Berry Farm, which I don't know what happened to those. But I, I found them on eBay and I bought them again. So I, I was sort of buying like all this like Pog stuff on eBay, not like a I didn't go like all out. I just got like a pack of a hundred, and then I found like this still in the box sealed. Um, the Pog Tournament Federation thing from that's just like a little. It's got like twenty four Pogs and a couple of Slammers in it. I felt like it was still sealed in the box. I did like an un- unboxing on my YouTube channel, and then I was like, you know what, this is not fit for my channel, so I moved it to uh, my other channel. I'll post a link. <laughs> but the reason why I started getting like back into it again is because I was thinking of because th- when I go to Freedom Fest, I like to hand out things, right? You know, cards sure. or whatever to say like, oh yeah, I do a podcast or something. So I was passing out these bracelets that I made, and we talked about them. I might as well bring them up again. But you know, the Power Balance things that were popular in the 2001s, I ended up finding that they had the the manufacturer that made those things, and we did like a big push to like oh we're going to revolutionize the bipcot no government media license and everybody was like what the fuck are you talking about like what are you going to do like jim's going to do something crazy with it and it turned out to be just a big april fool's joke where we made like these wristbands that basically prevented you from from interacting with the state because you know hologram technologies that work through shock (laughs) all this other fucking woo garbage and people loved them and i i sold a bunch of them i made i pretty much broke even with them and then i started like handing them out as like uh stuff at freedom fest you know just a little trinkets or whatever and I was like well I started I was passing around these things but there's no real reason for people to wear them other than think that the joke was funny and it's kind of like I already did that joke for two years Uh, I didn't go last year and I was like well if I'm gonna go again this year because this year is gonna be a popular thing because you know we have the Democratic primaries coming on we're getting ready for the the presidential election season again so this is gonna be the fun year to go to Freedom Fest and I was like well what do I want to pass out to let everybody know that you know what I do and I was thinking of like cheap things that I could make, and I was like, well, I, I reformatted my YouTube channel to be much more like 90s kind of Nickelodeon. I don't know if you you saw it. Yeah, you saw the live stream. How it's kind of had that yeah. kind of Memphis Nickelodeon thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, what was really popular in the 90s that I can get super cheap? Well, the first thing that came to my mind was those little slap bracelets. Oh, you God, I remember those. Yes, <laughs> the, I remember those. The straight those. pieces of plastic and metal you know, that had like colors on it or whatever, and you slapped it on your wrist, and it wrapped around, and it was like a bracelet, but you could stretch it out straight, and that was fun for I don't know what reason. There was those, and I was well, like, we, well, I don't know. For, for when, we, when, we had, when we had those, we used, to just, we used to slap them on each other and see how hard we could slap them yeah. on each other. It was a game to like see how much you could tolerate. And then it was like, the, come here, come here. <laughs> But they, I remember they banned them from, from the school. At least the metal ones. Yep. They banned from them from the school because they, you, can, you can get cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They got th- they got tossed out of our school too because we were beating the crap out of each other with them. <laughs> <laughs> It's like trying to wrap them around somebody's head as they're coming around a corner. It's just like, man, back. <laughs> yeah, man, we were vicious with those things. <laughs> those were great. <laughs> Why were they? Even yeah. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind seeing those come back. Actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> 
So I was like, yeah, but I already have bracelets, and who is going to actually uh, want to? Yeah, who's going to actually want to wear one of those things? And I think the overhead on those things will be a little bit more. I was like, what, what's cheap? And then it just dawned on me, like pogs. It's just little fucking pieces of cardboard. I'm sure there's some company out there that makes pogs. Well, it turns out there's two of them. So I <laughs> tracked down, I contacted one of them. One I thought they made better quality stuff, and uh, they were what I what I ended up getting made was like a bunch of pogs that had like either my little avatar from uh you know my youtube channel you know which is my cat with the memphis mm-hmm. kind of background so i have one of those uh my my new 90s logo uh you know i don't you see you see my little j thing right well i kind of yeah, made, yeah. i kind of made it look kind of like a 90s kind of like weird shaped or whatever yeah. so i have one of those with the little starburst in the back and then i have uh <laughs> and then i the lulbert's logo Oh, nice. But they also have like these cards. I don't remember if, I don't know if you've seen these because you weren't in the Pogs, but like they would have like collector's editions of Pogs, right? That would come on one big card and it would have like a a few different Pogs that you can punch out and use those or just keep the card, you know, and have like Mm -hmm. the full artwork on it. So I made 10 of those and then I also got like 100 uh, Pogs made. And I'm going to sell the cards and then hand out the, the individual Pogs for free. It's just like a little business card, but it's on the back. It's got like, my uh, my podcast web address, my my personal jimjesus dot com. Um, it's got my Twitter and my uh, my YouTube handle on there. Nice. So I can just hand those out, and people are like, "Oh, cool pogs!" And it's got all my information on the back. Um, and so I'm going to be handing out those things there, and just be like, "What the fuck? Why are you handing out pogs?" <laughs> if you remember Jim Jesus, he's back in pogs. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, I don't know. So yeah, well, that's you, pretty cool. Yeah, um, if someone wants to send me a self when when I get them, I haven't got them yet. Uh, I'm still waiting on them to get here. They may come today. Let me check. Cause it's time now. Do, do they? Do I have anything from my office saying no? No, it didn't come today. It looks like. Womp womp. But um, yeah, I'm ho- I'm hopefully gonna get those soon. Um, and then uh, if you if you want one of those, you can just send me a self addressed stamped envelope. You can get the the addresses at the very bottom of my page at jimjesus.com dot com for my post office box. If you send me a self addressed stamped envelope. I'll send you a couple of pogs. <laughs> but I'm going to be passing those things out. It's going to be fucking great. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's definitely creative, man. Yep. I mean, like I said, I, I never played them, but I remember them, and I know they were like the ra- they were a rage for a while. But yeah, I'm sure. There, there's still i would think that they're still like recognizable enough that mm-hmm. that's you know that's I, I think that's a pretty brilliant marketing thing like who else is gonna think who else is passing out pogs man i mean come on you are i gotta i gotta give it to you man you're you're very creative <laughs> when it comes to this shit i mean the bit the bib strong was hysterical but yeah. um but you, you, you i remember when you came up with the idea and you talked about like yeah i remember these bracelets and this and this and this like well let's do this with it yeah. like <laughs> I love it, man. I, I think I, I I think I think they'll be a hit because I think uh, not just idiots like us. I think other people who actually just see them because, like I said, they're recognizable enough that people go, "Oh yeah, Pog, I remember these things." Yeah. So, <laughs> and if they're not like they're just kind of like, oh, just a little small business card. That's kind of a unique. Well, I haven't seen these circle ones before. It's like, yeah, it's a business card. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Collect the whole set. <laughs> <laughs> Well, business cards are boring anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, business cards yeah. are like fun and all if you want to have like a little business card thing. But you know, I think my business card is going to be the coolest. It's a fucking pog. Well, I, I, yeah, like I said, I, I, I'd say you, you definitely have the best. Yeah, and um. there, there was a little bit of insp- inspiration coming from uh, Kevin Mitnick because Kevin Mitnick has the fucking coolest business card I have ever seen in my life. And you have to pay. I think it's like twelve bucks. You pay him twelve bucks in a uh, self-addressed stamped envelope. And he lives uh-huh. here in Vegas. I'm, I'm going to see if I can't just come over and be like, hey, here's 12 bucks or whatever. But his business card is is a, a little metal business card. And it says, like, Kevin Mitnick, security expert, whatever, computer security expert, and his phone number and web address. But you can punch out the pieces of it, and it's a fucking lockpick set. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and I was, <laughs> and I was, it would be great is if I could find a way to get a business card made. You know, with that, but that has a punched out pog, you know, <laughs> that you can punch yeah. out the pog. So, it's, you know, it'll fit like in all the, the business card holders, but you can also punch out the thing and have a pog. <laughs> that would be awesome, too. That that would be that would be really yeah. cool. Because, I mean, the cards that I got, like, hold six different pogs on them. And so, like, the, the one that's coming out first, and then I have another one that I'm going to come out with later. 
But the first one I got is going to have... Uh, it's going to have the Lulbert's logo, uh, you know, my avatar, my little Starburst logo. Uh, it's also got, like, a little Ska guy dancing at, behind, like, a little checkerboard pattern. And it says Anarcho Ska Gang. And then there's <laughs> also, uh, what is it, the um, <laughs> the Sips Confederacy logo, which is, you know, the Confederate flag. Yeah. But it's black and yellow instead of red. <laughs> so it yeah. looks like the handcap flag. <laughs> and a giant mon- can of Monster White Energy drink in it. <laughs> I, I forget what the other one was and then the other one i got it's got like stefan molyneux that kind of looks weird uh from my youtube poop that i made of them <laughs> and then uh oh and then uh, the occult technology of power book cover that that kevin slaughter makes but, oh yeah, yeah 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 but instead of that well, i think it was like a sun or something like that it's it's the uh the, the can of snooze <laughs> <laughs> The one we used for our podcast. By the way, how's that snoozing going? We, should, we, we haven't talked about snooze for a while. It's I, funny. I I've been meaning to ask. You, I was I was I was actually just going to ask you that as as uh, as you said that because we haven't talked about it. Um, I'm unfortunately still smoking. Okay. Um, I snoozed for a little while. Um, but I I meant to ask you for the longest time, and every time we talked, I kept it kept slipping my mind. Mm-hmm. But I finally got my hands on uh, a can of the white, mm-hmm. which is the one of the one you you said you like that one. Yeah. Now, I don't know if it's just because I left it sit like I left it and it wasn't refrigerated for a little while. Mm-hmm. I kind of forgot about it and then I kept them stored in the fridge and then they sat there for a while before I finally started using them a little bit. Um, did the white have it? Was it supposed to have like a citrusy flavor to yes. it? Oh, OK. Yeah, I didn't really like that that much. Oh, OK, <laughs> it's, it's oil of bergamot that they're using. It's um, uh, OK. It's like Earl Grey tea. Like that's. The yeah. OK. Of- See, now I, re- I remember you explaining it, but I, I yeah. didn't put it together that it had that type of flavor because um, I one of the one of the last trips I took when I was still driving back and forth uh, with Murder Dog and everything. I actually found some. I think I stopped in, uh, where the heck I might have been in Delaware. I think Hi. I just randomly ended up in Delaware. Yeah, exactly. We're in Delaware. Um, I, have to, I, stopped- I have to say that joke every time Delaware is <laughs> And we but have I, to always I, bring it up because Miller Miller lives in Delaware. Hi. Exactly. We're in Delaware. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I stopped at some random gas station and they, I, I went to go grab some snooze and I just automatically asked for the blue one because that's the only one I had had so far because that's mm-hmm. all they have up here. Uh, that I could- oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that occasionally happens. That's actually not a glitch, though. Let's see. Oh, come on. Right click. Maybe I should switch to this. You, you 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 need to go back to the part where you were saying that all they had in your area was the blue kind. Oh, damn it. I bounced out. I don't know why that keeps happening. It's because you AFK. You didn't move your, your computer around for 15 minutes. Oh uh, yeah, I've been yeah, I've been moving my mouse constantly. I thought that would be I thought that would help. Oh wow. Well. Anyway, all right. So so well, yeah, I was in Delaware. They had uh, oh, all the way back there. Okay, I uh, what call it? Yeah. So I went in there. I um uh, I, I asked for the blue because that's the only one I, I had had before. And then as she went to go grab it from the refrigerator, I saw the green one in there. I was like, Ooh, I haven't had that one yet. I'll try green, that. And then she as she goes to go grab that one, I was like, oh, wait a minute, you have the white one too? You have all the colors here? I'm like, <laughs> and she's like, and the woman just looked at me. She's like, are, are you serious? I'm like, you know what? Just give me one of each. I'm like, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm like, we only have the blue where I come from. So I want to try all of these. Um, but yeah, I wasn't the taste. I don't know. I think I really like the taste, but I was going to, I was going to give it another shot and buy some more and try to get off it. But uh, unfortunately, well, <laughs> fortunately, but unfortunately, uh, I found that if I want to take a little bit of a drive and head out to the Indian reservation, uh, I can get their cigarettes for $15 a carton. Yep. So I've just been smoking <laughs> because I'm like, ah, oh, it's only 15 bucks, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. you're, but you're still, are you still snoozing though? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I got one in right now. I, I got, oh, okay. If you, did you get the black and yellow one? There's the ANCAP one. That one I never saw. Yeah, that these ones are harder to get. Like, there's only one. There's a gas station out here called Speedy. I think something Speedy, some Speedy Value or something like that. Uh, they're the only ones that have it. Everyone else just has like, um, they have either the mini mints, which is like just the the blue ones that you had, but they're just a little smaller. Um, mm. Then they have the the mint, the wintergreen, and then the whites. That's all you can find anywhere else you go that has them. But if you go to that place, then you get the black and yellow ones. And the black and yellow ones aren't white portions. So, like, you know how you open them up and they're kind of laid out in a little star formation? Yeah. Like, 
which looks cool, but these ones don't do that because they go through an extra step where I think they add like propylene glycol to them or something like that. I don't know. Um, and they're like wet and, and brown, not white like the other ones. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, But they're so much better. They only last like 30 minutes though, but the flavor of them is much more like tobacco centric and that's the one I like. There's a little bit of oil of bergamot, but it's not as noticeable as like the, the white ones. The white ones are really like, ooh. Yeah, that kind of, it's funny, as as we're talking about, I realized I actually had, because I had a couple of cans left, I actually have one in the little mini fridge that's at the office that I've been recording from, <laughs> and I was like, the entire time we've been recording, I'm going, God, I could really use a cigarette, not realizing that the fucking shit was in there the entire time, I could have just popped one in, <laughs> and been fine this entire time, yep. now I know for next time. But. Yep. I do like me some snooze, I felt like we needed to talk about it since, you know, snooze is... One of those things that's kind of like being an atheist or uh, doing CrossFit or being a vegan. Like, you have to tell everybody about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we haven't told anybody about it for four episodes yeah, it's or been something. Yeah, it's been, it's been quite a while. But yeah. like I said, I mean, I, I definitely dug it, though. I mean, I, I got used to it because I've never... I've never done. I've never done uh, chew. I've never been a tobacco guy. Like, I smoke, mm-hmm. but I've never done, like, anything. I've, I think I tried... Um, some chaw when I was younger because I had you know I lived, I lived in the woods with a bunch I, I lived in the woods with a bunch of hillbillies so they all chewed it I think I tried it once and almost gagged and I'm like yeah we're not doing this again um, <laughs> I'll stick to my cigarettes and uh, an occasional cigar thank you yeah but uh, I got used to these really quickly and it's funny because I remember asking you the first time like how long are they supposed to last and you're like oh like 20 30 sometimes 40 minutes I'm like dude I've had this one thing in my in my mouth for three hours I still taste it That's what fine. the fuck's going on <laughs> um, yeah, but, it, but it was great. Because if I can switch over to these, I mean, like, what, what's there, 24 of them in a can, I think? Is that, yeah, 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 24. Think, yeah. 24 portions, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was putting it in my mouth and keeping it in there for at least an hour or two, so I was only going through where I'm like a pack, pack and a half a day smoker. Mm-hmm. I switched over to these. I was going through like six to eight tops, mm-hmm. usually just six a day. Yeah. So I should give it another. I probably should give it another shot. Yep. Um because I've been waiting forever for former uh, our, our former uh, host uh, co-host Lisa, uh, who's supposedly coming out with a smoke a smoking cessation program. She nice. still hasn't gotten back to me about that. Um, she put me on the short list. She was going to give a bunch of it. She was going to give it to free to a bunch of us, um, but I haven't heard back from her, so I don't know where she is with the program. Yeah, yet, I so. quit cold turkey. I quit smoking. Yeah, yeah. When I was smoking, I quit cold turkey. And I actually remember the day. It was uh, it was the same day that they had the big uh, Scientology raid. Uh, oh. Chanology, um, mm. where they went and did the first protest in February. I have to, I can pull up the exact date, but uh, it was Lisa McPherson's birthday. Um, Lisa McPherson, who was she was murdered by the Church of Scientology. Let's face it. Yeah, like, yeah, she was murdered by the Church of Scientology in '94 or something like that. And uh, they had the, that's when they had their big first uh, IRL raid on on the Church of Scientology. And I was like, yeah. I'm not going to go to this thing because I know 4chan and I don't know what they could be up to. <laughs> it could be really good or really bad. So I'm going to sit this one out. And if it's really good, I'll go to the next month's one. And I did. Um, so, but uh, but while this was going on, we were watching it. Like a, a guy like basically said, like, like dared me, like why, or not even really dared me. He was like, why don't you quit smoking? Because I was we were talking and I was like, hold on, I'm going to go smoke real quick. And he was like, why don't you quit smoking? And I was like, oh, I can quit anytime I want. And he was like, no, you can't. You're lying. And I was like, <laughs> fuck you. I can quit whenever I want. And I did. And what did it for me was like the next morning, I was like, I'm going to go smoke. my. La- I have one cigarette left. I'm going to smoke it and I'll fucking quit. And I did. I, I smoked that cigarette and that was the last cigarette that I had. Well, I've had a couple cigarettes here and there just because like my- I had a bunch of friends smoking and I was like, give me a fucking cigarette because <laughs> I'm sitting here all by myself not smoking. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but that would be like a one off or something. Sure. And, uh, and uh, you know, I woke up the next morning, and I didn't even realize like what was happening. I just I just woke up, threw threw some clothes on, walked down to the store. By the time I got to the store, I was like, "Wait a minute, why am I here? I'm quitting." <laughs> I didn't realize like how deep that the the addiction was that like it would have me walk to the fucking store like you know a block it was just like one block over you know just walk to the store to to get a pack of cigarettes and i was like oh man i didn't realize it had that much control over me like fuck i really do need to quit and i didn't i quit cold turkey for a couple years and then i was like no i just like smoking i just like nicotine 
I just yeah, was like trying to find other ways of doing nicotine that was a little bit safer. And so I did hookah for a while, and then I realized, like, no, no, that's actually probably a whole lot worse. <laughs> uh, and then I went to, to vaping for a bit, and I was like, no, this is pretty lame. Um, and then I found out about I, – I found I already knew about snus, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And I didn't want to try the American snooses because those are terrible. Um, that camel crap. Yeah, the camel mar- – so I found a local store that had general, and I was like, cool. And I was like, oh, I fucking love this stuff. I can finally get my nicotine. And it's cheaper than vaping. And uh, you just put it in your upper lip. You don't have to spit or nothing. It's nothing gross. And most of the time I do it, people don't even know. Like, I'll just do it in places where it's like, oh, tobacco-free area. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm yep. fucking doing tobacco right now. Fuck you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, my, my, my biggest problem was forgetting to take it out if I went to go have some coffee. And then all of a sudden, it was like I almost swallowed the thing a couple times because I forgot it was because, like, like I said, I was keeping them yeah. in for like two to three hours. I forget it was there, and I'd go to drink something. It's like, oh god, I almost gagged on the goddamn thing. I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, I remember there'd be times where I'll um like I'll I'll put in a snooze and I'll I'll lay in bed and I'll just be like hanging out with my cat or playing with the laser or something, and then I'll fall asleep. You'd sleep a full fucking eight hours and it's still on my lip and I can still taste it. I'm like, <laughs> but it's it's weird after that long. You're just like, Ugh, what the fuck, get it out of my mouth. Well, yeah, because it does. Even even if it's still some flavor, it does get a little dried out. It gets a little yeah, your your like, lip your 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 lip has been bulged out over it. Yeah, just, sli- just ever so slightly, but in that position for that long, yeah, it's gonna feel weird. And because it's got salt, it kind of wrinkles the, yes. the lip over it. There, you're just like, ah, yep. god damn it. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was that was the most difficult thing for me in the beginning. I had to make sure my mouth was like wet enough before yeah. I put the damn thing in, because <laughs> otherwise it gets like stuck and then it feels weird. Yeah. <laughs> but I, like usually most of the time, like like the one I just put in now, these are a little dried out. These must be these are these are these are kind of old. I kind of forgot they were in there. Yeah. Um, they have been refrigerated the whole time, but they have just been sitting in the. Uh, yeah. sitting if, there if for you're gonna do long term storage of them, it's good to like put them in a, a like a plastic bag and suck all the air out of it. And then put it in the freezer. I, I was just yeah. going to ask, can you freeze these yeah, things? Freeze okay, that, but that's it's a good, good idea. Get all the air, like just put them in. A, like you can't get completely all the air because they're like in a can and there's air. And the, in and the, can. and the cans, the cans not even like really sealed ish when yeah, they yeah. give it to you either. It's like almost open already. Like you just kind of pop the top and yeah, it's yeah, like, oh, okay, a little seal, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's barely a seal, but yeah. yeah. You just put them in. A, uh, like what people do is they'll buy like the order them from uh, Sweden. And they'll order them in bulk to make it worth it because, you know, U.S. law says that you have to have, like, shipped from, like, USPS and it's super expensive. But if you buy in bulk and you get, like, really good discounts, it's actually cheaper to buy it overseas and have them shipped. Um, and so what they do is they buy, like, whole rolls of them, multiple rolls, like, big orders of them, and then they'll put them in mm-hmm. Ziploc bags, you know, that they have, like, you know, the ones that come with the little vacuum to suck all the uh, air out of the bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they'll they'll put those or a little food saver or something like that, and then throw them in the sure. freezer, and then open them up, oh, okay. put them in the fridge until they're ready. Yeah, they're good in the refrigerator That's... until the ex- expiration date. But if you want to go past the expiration date, freeze them in a sealed bag, and it should be good to go. Yep, there you go. All right, yeah, I think uh, like I said, if uh, unless I hear from Lisa soon, I think I'm going to try to. Uh... I just, I just love nicotine. I just love nicotine. I well, that's my that's my whole thing too. I mean, you know, we we talked about this the uh, the first time we talked about snooze. Yeah. I think you know. I mean, I, I started smoking. When I was thirteen. I did the quit cold turkey thing for five years too, and then I stupidly started smoking again and haven't stopped because I do. I just I like. I mean, I actually I'm one of those people who enjoys the the act of smoking. Mm-hmm. Um, still, you know, and, t- and talk about the, the you know the habitual thing with you get it, you know getting up and walk through the store. I mean, I used to be so bad, man. I mean, I, I may have told this story the last time we talked about this, but I was so bad that uh, back when I lived with my grandmother all those years ago, I wouldn't even get out of bed to have my first cigarette. <laughs> I had I had my desk chair pulled next to my bed because I kept my cell phone and my glasses and whatever on there (laughs) but I kept my pack of cigarettes and an ashtray and I would literally wake up and roll over and light a cigarette before I even got the fuck out of bed every morning (laughs) that's how I used to start my day that's how like I mean I was a three I was a three pack a day guy for a long time yeah. Um, um, I mean, now I'm now I'm now I'm doing like a pack, pack and a half. But again, it's just because they're super cheap. So I think I've only had one place that I ever lived in where I was allowed to smoke cigarettes in, and that was uh, and when I lived in Norco for a few months. Uh, I was renting out like this little 
off house, right? And mm-hmm. I was, they were like, "Oh, you can smoke in there." And I was like, "Oh, I'm never leaving then. This <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> going to work. I'm never leaving." So, I, I, yeah, I, I would like sometimes I just like lay in, lay in bed and wake up and be like, "Fuck, I don't want to get up." <laughs> yeah, I did it every morning. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it was my lucky strike. I was I love that was my brand. Like lucky strikes, uh, camels with a K. That was, oh, I remember those. Yeah, those ones, and then. Um, and Parliament, Parliament Lights, P Dogs, those, yeah. those are my brands. I, and then uh, usually one of those brands always had the buy one get one free thing going on, which they don't. I don't even think they do anymore. The buy one get one free. No, things. yeah. No. The only, I mean, I st- obviously I stopped buying cigarettes in stores a while ago. Once I started going to the Indian Indian Reservation again. Um, but for the past couple of years, at least around here, the only time I've ever, been, I've ever seen anything like that is if you get, like, manufacturer coupons. Oh. Like, if you're on one of the mailing lists for, like, Marlboro or Parliament or, oh. or like, I was I was on the Pall Mall list because that's what I smoked for the longest time after I when I got, went back to smoking it because they were the cheapest ones around here. So I just got used to smoking Pall Malls. <laughs> um, but, like, they would send me coupons. And even American Spirit would, would send me coupons every couple of years because I think I signed up for their things once. So, like, you'd get, like, maybe one or two of those a year. You'd get a buy one, get one free coupon but the best they do around here is like they advertise it in all the stores it's like lowest cigarettes allowed by law oh we have a great deal for you buy two you get you buy two packs you get a dollar off <laughs> see general snooze has a coupon thing we're like one of those things too and uh you what you do is uh they'll send you stuff occasionally it's really rare but i get send- emails from them yeah um but if you if you go onto their website once a month once per calendar month, you can ask for a coupon, and they'll send you a coupon that it's like, and the ones that they usually send me are um, get a can for a dollar. Oh, that's not that's not nice. buy one, get one for a dollar. Just get get a can for straight a up one yeah, for a dollar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, I'll, I'll have to check that out. Like yeah. I said, I think uh, I think I'm uh, I think I'll give it another shot because I have been. I mean. Like I said, I, I do enjoy smoking, uh, even even the act of it. But I know it's been it's been killing my lungs lately. Um, I know my voice is not as as creamy as it used to be because um, I've been sm- I've been I've been smoking way too much. And it was even worse because when I when I went to the, when I started going to the re- reservation, I was getting them so cheap. I was because they sell them out there by the bag instead of by the carton that's how they get they, they sell them so cheap because mm-hmm. you're not paying for all the paper and all that stuff they literally just shove 200 of their cigarettes in a giant plastic bag <laughs> and they're like here you go 15 bucks um but because they were so cheap um i was buy i was buying a pack of the i was buying a cart essentially a carton of the regular and a carton of menthol and I was switching back and forth. And I do that every time because I like the taste of menthol. And then it takes me a month or two to realize, oh, dumbass, there's a reason you don't smoke these things. They shred your lungs like no, no tomorrow. <laughs> and you start coughing up blood after a while. Stop smoking these fucking things, idiot. Yeah. I never coughed the blood. I had the lung butter. That was the thing. <laughs> oh, I that that that's been a constant. I, I think it that only that only dissipated for like the last maybe. Oh, <laughs> gotta move that around. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. So move two. There we go. I already smoked Wait, from. On. Say that again, because oh. you, you they oh. moved you over. Where did I cut off that time? Yeah. <laughs> uh, start from your lung shredding. What's that? Yeah. Something about your lung shredding. Oh, with the the yeah, with the, the there's a re- there's a reason I don't smoke menthols, and yeah. I keep forgetting that every time I buy them. And after a month or two, it's like this is why you don't smoke them because they rip your lungs apart, moron. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'll get. I think I'll give this news another shot because, like I said, my uh, it's I'm getting I'm getting the cigarettes cheap, but it's definitely starting to hurt my lungs. So uh, yeah. it's, it's probably time to give the news another shot. I like cigars though. That's that's the one thing I like to keep. I do. Yeah, and it's like it's kind I, of like a treat thing every once in a while on the way home. I'm like, because sometimes I'll pass by the because we have an Indian reservation here. They kind of yeah, though. they don't have cigarettes in a bag for fifteen bucks, but they'll do like cartons of cigarettes for like twenty three bucks. But they're like, they're not even like USA brand or whatever the cheap. Yeah, brand they're, they're, is. they're their brands because that's what I have out yeah. here. They have they have the, they have the Indian brands. The one I buy is actually called Buffalo. Yeah, <laughs> they have stuff like that where it's like, who what I haven't even yeah, these, and I used to smoke <laughs> but yeah they have those and they're not really they're not always the best price either because sometimes i'll go in there and be like i can 
these are like maybe like 50 cents cheaper than what I'd buy somewhere else. Like, yeah, whatever. Um, but the, the cigars, they do a really good deal on because I'll see like a seven dollar cigar I'd get anywhere else, you know, for like five bucks. I'm like, that's not a bad deal, you know, for a, yeah. for an acid cigar or a punch cigar. Yeah, I want a cigar now. Let me get a rope. I, 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 I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not super sophisticated when it comes to cigars, but I. Just, I do like to smoke them. I just don't. Like I don't know too much about them. Um, oh, Patron, I do know. I got I some. I got. Right now. Oh. I, I just. Remember, I just remember back in the day, you know, before <laughs> when uh when it when it was still a you know huge thing to be able to get Cubans. Yeah. Um, you know, I went uh, when I went down to the Bahamas. That's when I would enjoy myself because you know people just walk up and down the beach selling them, and <laughs> yeah. I would just I would just load up on Q. And you weren't supposed to be able to bring them back into the states at that point either. And then I would sneak a bunch of them back in with me, <laughs> and then uh, I would enjoy them for the next. I, I only like to have them like maybe every couple of months. I'll have you know if if, I, if I'm doing it. And usually I don't even like. I mean, I will, but I don't even like to smoke cigars alone. I'm one of those people. Like, I'll, I enjoy one if, like, a bunch of people are sitting around, like, you know, drinking or whatever, and maybe mm-hmm. want to have some cigars. I'll do that, play some cars and uh, smoke cigars. Yeah, that's uh, I do that, but it's like I said, maybe three or four times a year tops. Yeah, like I'll go outside and watch some YouTube videos on my porch, and just chill out, smoke a cigar on my t- with my tablet, and just watch movies or videos. Which, by the way, I don't know. I just, I sent you a link to to something amazing. Oh, you know what? I st- I started to watch it, then I realized it was two hours long. I'm like, I don't have time for this right yeah. now. I will get I will get back to it, and then I never did. Yeah. But it, it was I was laughing for the first couple of minutes until I realized I had to go. But was that was that for, was that what the hell was that? Was it from the okay. Ricky Gervais show? Yeah, the Ricky Gervais show. Like, I guess it started out because like, he did like this show with uh, the other guy that from from the Office, like one of the other writers from the Office. I forget mm-hmm. his name. Um, and what they started realizing that the that the uh, the producer for their show that worked at the radio station they were doing it at uh, was like this like idiot, but he had like perfect comedic like timing that was just perfect. And yeah. he would just say things, and it would almost be like you know, like if you were to, if you were saying these as a joke, it'd be hilarious. But you're not, so it's even more, <laughs> so it's even more hilarious. <laughs> and he, like I remember, like, but what they found out is that he was keeping a journal, and they were like, "Oh, can we please read your diary on the program, please?" And he was like, "Yeah, there's nothing really embarrassing. Like he doesn't talk about like super personal shit." And he's like, "So yeah, go ahead." And so we started bring so, so like during the show, every once in a while, I'm like, "All right, we're gonna read a little bit from from his." diary so what they did is they took all of the clips of the parts where they were talking about his diary from all of the seasons of the show and oh that's one so long funny video <laughs> so they basically go through his whole diary <laughs> the, the, but he would say things that were like i don't like it makes you kind of wonder like okay is he really profound but our monkey brains can't fucking handle how brilliant it is because we're not as evolved as him or is he really like an idiot savant like i don't know <laughs> <laughs> like we, we, so like he he was saying like uh he would never go to australia because you know like they have spiders and and stuff and ants and stuff that you know that can kill you and he was like he's like he figured out the reasons why and the reason why is because where do spider like really nasty spiders and ants hang out under rocks the earth is a giant rock and australia is the bottom of the rock. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's like it's not really on the bottom of anything. It's just a big hole floating in space. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You'd be like, well, All right, I think I, I still I still have it queued up. I think I'll sit and watch. I'll th- I think I'll sit and watch it tonight because I don't have anything going on. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be here at the office, and we got our internet back at the office. It's actually that was actually it actually really worked out. I told you originally, oh yeah, no problem. Thursday night I can record, and then uh, my buddy forgot to pay his internet bill here at the office, so we actually we didn't we didn't have internet here for a couple of days. Luckily, it got turned back on today, so it worked out. So I can watch it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yeah, Carl Plankington is 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 Pl- Pilkington Pilkington. Yeah, yeah. Carl Pilkington. <laughs> fucking group and there's like it's funny because the ricky gervais show is not really about ricky gervais it's about carl plinkington Pl- pilkington pilkington yeah or, it's all about him. something yeah. yeah it's all about him and the, all he does is <laughs> ask him stuff and he says something stupid and they laugh at it <laughs> but there's a document there's like a sh- like three documentary series about him, like what they did is they said, like we we like you so much, but we want you to go travel, and like talk about like your experiences traveling. And it's called oh God, really? It's called an idiot abroad. 
<laughs> and the first two seasons, it's him going alone with just the camera crew. And then like he was like, he's like, yeah, it'd be great if I had someone to go along with. And then Ricky, like, what he was saying was he wants to go with Ricky. And Ricky yeah. was like, no, I got a better idea. Like, yeah, well, okay, we'll send, we'll, we'll have someone go with you then. And so he thought he was going to get Ricky. And they sent him with Warwick Davis. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, at one point, he was like, do you have knees? <laughs> <And he was> like, <laughs> Warwick was like, of course I have knees. <laughs> I'm like, what I haven't heard that name in so long. Oh, my God. That's hysterical. Yeah. I saw, like, a little interview show that they did with it. He was like, um, he was like, uh, he was like, yeah, I was like, he, he was telling me that he was in all these movies. And it's like, oh, I don't, I don't really care. It's like, oh, I was in Star Wars. It's like, yeah, but I didn't see you in any of them. What does it matter? <laughs> He's like, I mean, if I went around and was saying that I was in, uh, that I was in Labyrinth, <laughs> they were all started laughing. And he was like, what? And he was like, he was like, he was in Labyrinth. <laughs> 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 Like, he's like, where are you? He's like, see, I don't even remember any of these things because you're always in a costume. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> <fucking> idiot. <laughs> yeah, Carl Pilsington oh, is man. the greatest person to ever live. Fight me. Oh, by the way, before we wrap this up, episode 100, this is episode 99. Yay. Uh, mm-hmm. Episode 100, we were supposed to have this big radio play. That may still happen, uh, but I'm pressing X to doubt because uh, I don't think any progress has been made on it so far. Um, but I'm, I might as well tell about what, what I'm going to be debunking. And I'm, I'm going to have a co-host on again, sort of-ish. Uh, it's going to be Larry Bernard, the guy that I do the show Recording in Progress with. And we're going to be going over all of the conspiracy theories regarding the Federal Reserve. And I think since it's like episode 100, we might as well go after the most contentious libertarian bunk <laughs> that we could possibly go after is all the stuff regarding the Federal Reserve all the conspiracy and not so much like of course we're going to take the, the, the position that the Federal Reserve is an awful institution that never should ex- it's never should have existed from day one but I think there's a lot of bullshit that comes along with it and we're going to go after all of that stuff you so, mean like Half of the creature from Jekyll Island. Yeah, yeah, most of, <laughs> most of the stuff from the creature from Jekyll and Island. I, I, I hate saying that because I've met and spoken and hung out with the man, and he's such yeah. a nice fucking yeah, he's guy. A great guy. He really, he is like the sweetest man, and so gracious. But yeah, and like that, his that book is what started my path. Mm-hmm. Like reading that is what started me on my path, and then years later, I was like, oh wait a minute, he was he he, he was kind of full of shit about some of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of the most heavily footnoted books I've ever come across, and it's still a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, but still, J. Edward Griffin, great man. Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. But uh, yeah, like there's a lot of stuff in there that's just garbage. But I, I will give him credit for one thing: is that he he has been the most vocal opponent of the idea that JFK was assassinated because of the Federal Reserve. Like he was one of the most ardent skeptics of that thing, and he's he's done like multiple interviews and podcasts and articles and all kinds of stuff about. Quit saying that JFK <coughs> was assassinated because he opposed the Federal Reserve. He's like, no. Oh God, I hate that. That's stupid. That's like that stupid meme that goes around with Kennedy and Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what what do these guys have in common? They've uh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, one guy that was born fifty years or that was killed fifty years before the Federal Reserve even existed, and yeah. started the whole greenback thing. For, you know, to finance the war, which is just inflationary yep. mon- monetary policy. JFK, who was like, the Mises Institute has done like multiple uh, lecture series about how awful the JFK uh, administration was on, on the uh, on the economy, and most of it revolved around their quote unquote fascist um, economic policies that just inflated the money monetary policy like crazy. Um, yeah. And they were also instrumental in removing a lot of the backing, the, the silver backing from, from the money. Yep. Just, no, he, they like the Federal Reserve. No, <laughs> fucking idiot. Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> uh... Stop spreading that meme. And it's always a free thought project. Like That's why I can't stand that fucking website. They always share that meme every year. It's like, you fucking idiot. Yeah, stop. I, 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 stopped, I stopped following them a while ago. Yeah. And as I've said before, I, I hate, you know, again, one of those things I, I don't necessarily like saying because I'm friends, like actual friends mm-hmm. with a couple of the writers on there. And it's like, 
oh guys come on you've gone off the deep end now at this point like <laughs> stop spreading that meme just, just just get just give up just, yeah, just stop just just stop. like derrick rose is a really cool guy but he's a drug mystic and i can't stand fucking drug mystics <laughs> yeah I, yeah I, again De- derrick i hung out with him you know hung yeah. out with him last year in Mich- hung out with him last year in michigan when he brought his party bus up there um and his whole tour and everything you know and i've hung out with a couple of times great guy you know mm-hmm. but uh yeah i'm not not really into a lot of his oh, stuff man. either <laughs> dude dmt man it'll be It'll make you, it'll 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 cure your cancer and give you galaxy brain. It's like no, <laughs> no. I, I will entertain the idea that psychedelics like give you a better introspective. That's for that's for damn sure that it does. I'm not going to say that it's. The, I'm likely to believe it. It's, it's a fact. But I mean, like the idea that, you know, that it makes you smarter and cures cancer or ayahuasca cures cancer and marijuana like cures cancer if you just smoke. It's like, no, none of this stuff is, no, drugs are not magic. They <laughs> they have pros and cons, like everything else. Just yep. like everything else. Just because it gives you gets you high doesn't make you galaxy brain. It just doesn't. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's going to be what we're going to talk about is the uh, whole Federal Reserve conspiracy. Right. There's going to be a solo part of it as well, but hopefully, hopefully they get this radio drama worked out because this radio drama thing that they have planned is fucking brilliant. But I don't know if they've been working on it or if they recorded anything. I don't know if they have recording on any thing recorded that I have to edit. It's probably going to be pushed back another week. But if it comes out next week, great. If not, if, it, if not, it's going to be even better. <laughs> it's going to be even better. It's going to come out one week later. So, all, all right. right cool. So, you want anything you want to plug before we go? Are you working on anything? Uh- yeah, you know what? I still have. I kept saying I was going to get back into the podcasting game, and other than doing this show, I really haven't. Um, but no, just these days, hashtag please donate. Um, you know, I got I got to pay I got to pay some extortion fees up here in in, in New York, stand folks. So, uh, d- despite everybody else leaving, I still haven't left Patreon. I'm still there. So you go to yeah. Seize the Liberty page. The Seize the Liberty Patreon. People actually still send me money. It's great. I love these. I, lo- I love some of my fans. I haven't produced any content in forever. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are some people that have been following me that just keep insisting on sending me money through Patreon. Nice. Um, uh, so you can either do that or uh, or PayPal me. Yeah, I, I, I'm actually going to be doing because I'm I'm on Podbean now. That's where I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I've, I've I, I know I know you talked about that, and I heard uh, I heard Brian, I heard Brian talk about it too, yeah. and I was like, oh, I'll look into that at yeah. some point. By the way, <laughs> if if you're still subscribed to me on Subscribestar, just cancel it. Just cancel it because I can't close my account unless those two people that don't know who they are uh, close their accounts because I can't delete my account until if I have subscribers that are paying. I can't do it. I don't. It's stupid. Uh, but I'm not going to be active on there at all, and I can't even get my money out of it. So you're just throwing your money into a giant pit that I can't get. Oh, out, so. well, then definitely cancel that shit right now, yeah, folks. So um, cancel that. But what I'm also going to be doing as well, so I'm going to have Podbean, which if you have if you use the app, it's great. It's great. It's a great podcast app. I moved over there just because it's a good app. And on top of there, Brian Sovereign's on there, Lines of Liberty. Oh wait, uh, oh it's an actual podcasting app. I yeah, thought it was a, yeah, just yeah. like a. I thought. I thought. Oh, see, I th- I haven't paid it enough attention. Yeah. I thought it was just like a Patreon, like a, a replacement for Patreon. Well, I didn't it, realize it's it. that too. I mean, but it's. Well, it's no, also yeah, like but I thought that's app. all it was. Yeah. yeah it's oh, a, so you, uh, you can know go what? and find podcasts on there. Your podcast will probably be on there if it's still hosted somewhere it's yeah I, I don't i don't think our podcast is i don't think our podcast is anywhere except on youtube and yeah. uh steam it because uh you know dave canceled our hosting so <laughs> we we're not our, our page is still active because paulie gordon still uh hosts my page for yeah. me i still get links uh, from them <laughs> but uh yeah yeah and he's still yeah he posts he he still he still runs my page and he got uh, the lulberts uh the fiends used to be i think uh my buddy danilo's uh podcast and uh my buddy uh Actually, I don't know if he has Merrick's on there because Merrick started doing a new podcast. But yeah, he had a bunch of other people linked on my sh- on my uh, on my site, so a bunch of other people's uh, content came yeah. up on there too. Oh, by, by the way, do you, do you who got out of pod fading a while ago, and I've been enjoying that stuff again. Is the uh, Ancap Barbershop it's back? Yeah, yeah, Scotty. I've been me- I've been meaning to bust their balls every time I listen to one of their shows, and they talked about um uh, when they were doing the they stopped doing it when they were doing the phone bit where they were having people call up and leaving messages and stuff. Oh, I, I, got, I kept I, I kept wanting to do that, that for yeah. the road and just leaving fucked up messages. <laughs> But I never got around to it, and then it disappeared for a while. And now they've been back, and uh, I, I love those too. I love listening to them. I They're think funny. I'm gonna troll them with some Yang Gang stuff. <laughs> they, they, yeah, definitely. Yeah, hey guys, what are you guys funny. gonna do with your with your bags? <laughs> what are you gonna do with thousand dollars? <laughs> You're gonna secure your bags. <laughs> Just the gang gang thing is like the best. He looks like he's not gonna win. I think I just I just checked the polls again. He was like, I think one percent. 
on one poll and zero percent on like two other polls. It's it's not a good look. It's not a good look. But uh, it the memes are fucking so glorious. <laughs> yeah, I I had I no idea what was going work. on. I had no idea what was going on for a while. I kept seeing the memes. I'm like, what the fuck? It wasn't. It's I heard the I heard him on Rogan, and that's how I was like, oh, that now this all makes sense. Yeah, he's, now he's, I know what people are talking about. Oh. oh. Oh, we should talk. There's one. There's one more thing we could talk about. Yang, he, there's this news article that talks about like how he's insecure about his penis now, because someone on Twitter said that like how big is your penis because uh, Asian people don't have big dicks, <laughs> and, so, uh, uh, and so they did a fucking news article. I think it was the Washington Examiner did a fucking news article about he was talking about how like now he feels insecure about his penis size. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with them? Oh. <laughs> so at him. And he felt it necessary to comment on his penis size. Wow. Holy shit. America's doomed. <laughs> Just get your bags. <laughs> America's doomed. Can I can I take mine to go? <laughs> 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 Can I get that bag to go, President yeah. Yang? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna take uh, it and leave, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 what was the other, the other the other meme candidate? Is Tariq Nashik? I think that's his name. Uh, who? He's, what? He's, he's just some rando blue check mark on Twitter. Um, oh, okay. Typical blue mark, actually, but uh, blue check mark. But he. Um, but he's running, and like the the meme is like, if you vote for him, he's gonna give every white person who voted for him the N word pass. So you have you have the right to say the N word. <laughs> oh, you know, I may have to re- I, 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 I may have to re-register just for that. You know. <laughs> oh, and SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> had a tweet that said, uh, "F stands for." Oh, let me, let me pull this up because it's glorious. Uh, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> uh, yeah, here it is. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess what the responses were? <laughs> oh man! I just responded with the uh, was it a uh, what was that a uh, um, Fury Road? <laughs> he was just <laughs> oh, God. he's like that's bait. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of reminds me of when Jack tweeted just the the letter N. Because I don't know if you've seen, like, it's kind of like a meme on Twitter. Like, you just say, like, one letter, and then people fill in the rest. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah I heard I heard about this recently, actually, yeah. yeah. It's like, Kurt Doolittle was complaining, like, you know, people kept calling him a boomer. And he's like, cut the shit, I'm not a boomer. And wrote, like, this long article, crazy fucking word salad bullshit article. Well, it's not really word salad, but it's it's it's, it's ass hattery. Like, Steve Jobs and, and I were, like, brilliant people who didn't fuck around with the hippie generation. It's like, actually, he did. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, like, um, someone responded with B. And then, like, I, I responded with O. <laughs> it was, like, just boomer. So that's, like, a thing. And people do it with the N-word, too, obviously. So he just yeah, that, letter that, I was listening. I- I was listening to some podcasts where they were talking about that, and then people are actually getting banned for that. Yeah, yeah. So, so anybody who responded with I or any other letter to that got banned from Twitter. <laughs> that was That's like, just insane. That was the definition of bait. Yeah. <laughs> it was the biggest honeypot ever. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <sighs> so, yeah, seasonliberty.solpodcast.org. It's not being yeah, hosted like, there, I, I, but yeah, it's not being hosted there. But yeah, yeah. But yeah like I said, you get a hashtag, please donate. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring something back at, at some point. Like I said, I just I've been uh, the podcasts are on YouTube uh, though. 
Uh, yeah, well, well, actually, I think most of them should be. I stopped uploading stuff for a while, but I think all the podcasts should be there. Okay. I, all uh, our, our whole baseball season of three years, 162 episodes, nice. uh, I think are still up there. Um, and all 50 some odd episodes of my show, the Abolitionist Abstractions, however many I ended up doing of those. Um, I, uh, I'm going to bring something back soon. I keep saying I'm going to. I've just been in a funk for a while, but uh, I've been talking to Derek Slopey again, and i got to get my hosting hooked back up. And once I do that, I'll uh, I'll start putting some more yeah. stuff out. And I'm, I'm also going to work out something with Discord, because I've already kind of set up things and was trying things out. Um, so what I can do is, if you don't want to use Podbean, which Podbean is just like a regular app, all, all your podcasts are on there, and it has like features like you know faster speeds, you know fast forward 30 seconds, and all that other stuff. Um, um, and every podcast that's on iTunes is on it as well. But if you don't want to use that, you don't want to pay through that, uh, what I'm probably going to do is have some sort of PayPal scheme where, like, if you do a reoccurring payment scheme to me, I'll add you to a group on Discord that allows you access to a chat room, which I can upload podcast like, 50 megabyte files to, which most of my driving podcasts are, like, less than 50. So I'll just put like any kind of episode on there and anything that's bigger I can just host on something like Mega or whatever. And there you go. You can just solve it that way too. Or just link, upload it as a YouTube video and then unlist it and just send it out. I could do that too. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So All I'm right. going to do that too. So at me bro if you want to get involved in that or if you want to use Podbean. There you go. Uh, is that it? Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> all right. Worms. Worms. I didn't say worms. <laughs>